This is a demo of Sauce for Strava running on iOS devices. The latest iOS and Safari 15 support browser extensions on mobile uh, devices. So we're going to be going through an iPad simulator and an iPhone simulator, which means that I can't show you the app being installed from the App Store, but the way that you install this is through the native App Store on your phone or iPad. Uh, to find it, you can search for Sauce for Strava in the App Store, or if you go to the website, which is saucellc.io, uh, from Safari on your device, then there's a link that when you click will actually open up the, um, the app in the App Store. And now, this is, this is a bit um, strange, but the way that Apple is handling browser extensions is they want you to install a native application on your device or computer. And then um, when you open it, all that does is install the browser extension. But once you've installed it, you actually have to enable it. So I'm actually going to go to my uh, Xcode, and I'm going to build this for the iPad, and this is going to install it on there as well. So this is the same thing as uh, installing from the App Store. And now that that's attached and running, I can come back and I can see that it's actually starting to run the app and give it a second it will finish loading and give us a little message. Okay, the Sauce for Strava extension is installed. If this is the first use on this device then you must go to Settings, Safari, Extensions and enable the entry for Sauce for Strava. You must also give the extension access to the domain strava.com and that's really important because um, Apple has a bug right now where they, they won't ask you on uh, certain types of devices. Okay, so we can go away from this guy, go to settings, click Safari. There's a entry for extensions, and now we see Sauce for Strava, but it's turned off. So we're going to enable that guy, and then we're going to come down here where it's uh, listing strava.com. And instead of ask, we want that to say allow. Now you only have to do this one time. Uh, any updates that you get from the App Store automatically after this, um, you don't have to worry about any of this. This is just for the first time. And again, this is there's nothing I can do about this. This is what Apple uh, wants all of its users to do for, for uh, Safari extensions. Uh, okay, so I'm going to go back to home. And then we're going to now run Safari. And, uh, okay, I don't really need that. Excuse my uh, unfamiliarity with uh, iOS. Okay, I'm going to go to Strava.com now. And you should notice a little icon up here. And this is only going to show up if the extension is enabled and has permission to use Strava.com. But you can see that there's a bunch of new options that you can do. And these are all the standard Sauce for Strava features. So I'm not going to go through um, the ins and outs of what Sauce for Strava is. There's another video for that, and there's plenty of other resources that you can um, use for that. Uh, but if we go into one of these activities, you can start to see how this is uh, working now. So over on the left here, we have the peak power table. These are all the standard Sauce for Strava features, um, including some of the new features for showing you how much uh, vi how many vices you've earned for your activity or somebody else. Okay, and uh, yeah, all the standard stuff is here. Analysis, you can expand these. Um, all the all the standard functionalities there, including uh, exports. So you can actually export um, activities. Um, from the mobile device and save them as files on the device. Um, and then of course we've got some of the cool features like dark mode. And there you go. Okay, so let's do quickly go back to our dev tools and do the same thing for an iPhone. All 
All right. Okay, we've got an iPhone installing, running the app. We get our same message. I'm going to go to the settings, Safari, extensions. We're going to turn it on for the first time. We're going to give it permission. Now we're going to go and launch Safari. I'm going to go to strava.com. And this will look pretty similar to what the, the dashboard looks like without Sauce for Strava, but there's no banner at the top telling you to install the app. And when you click on an activity, you're going to get a completely different view because uh, Strava does not support responsive sites uh, for the analysis view. And so here you can see that everything is uh, made mobile friendly. Um, including the menu here and all the extra options here. In our info panel. And even things like performance predictor work um, with a slightly different layout on mobile. So you can you can do some of the more advanced functionality from your phone now. So if you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments, send an email to our support. Um, installation, I know it's going to be a little bit rough, but hopefully this video will, will help with that a little bit. Thanks.